Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have my February 2020 home fragrance empties to share with you guys. And if you guys cannot tell, my bin is super, super full. Really happy with what I accomplished and using up this month. So let's jump in and get started. On top here, I have a refill container from Swan Creek. I literally finished this up today. I am filming two days before the end of the month. And this is Swan Creek Candle Company Butterscotch Brandy. So if you guys are new to watching my videos, you guys don't know that I typically buy these 24 ounce containers of refill wax from Swan Creek because they are much cheaper than buying the wax melts. I think that they're like $15, $16 on the website. If you can actually go into a Swan Creek store, they're even cheaper. I think they're like $12.99 or $13.99. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. I melt these down in the microwave. My daughter and I, we have a girls day and we make tarts. I pour them into silicone molds. It works out really nice. I buy polypropylene bags and that kind of stuff. So I did use up this whole container. Recently we melted down two summery spring containers that you'll hopefully end up seeing in next month's empties that I use up. So I enjoy using these up. These are a great value for the money. Here is a candle. Sometimes I will let my candles burn until they go out on their own. Sometimes I just stop them on my own depending on how low they are. Like this one was just not worth relighting again. So I stopped this one on my own. This is Yankee Candle Sweet Fig and Pomegranate. Does have the yellow label. This was a outlet buy. So I got it relatively cheap. And oh. I love the smell of sweet fig and pomegranate. I definitely get the pomegranate as the main scent note. Was this like an overwhelming powerhouse? Absolutely not. This was a subtle thrower, but for a Yankee candle, I was able to actually smell this. I burned this in my living room. As you could tell, it was a relatively good burner. Very clean, no soot, burned all the way down. A little bit of wax residue, but I definitely would say that this was a good performer. So then I have here Goose Creek Christmas Magic. And I have to say, I have to say I was happy to finish this candle. So the label is absolutely gorgeous. I was trying to finish up some of my Christmas candles. Had this one going in my dining room. And I feel like that I could not get like an accurate smell for this one. It was potent. It was pungent. Sometimes Goose Creek candles can be hit or miss as well as Yankee candles. I don't like this candle. I definitely feel like that it takes on that almost like burned char smell to it. And it kind of smells a little bit like root beer barrels, which I wouldn't expect for a Christmas candle, like root beer barrels mixed with cinnamon. Just was not keen on this candle at all. So here is a pack of wax melts. This is Sensational's Girlfriend's Night. This smells exactly like Victoria's Secret Noir Tees. This is a dead on dupe for that perfume. I love melting this in the bedroom because I do not do foodie scents in the bedroom. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I don't do foodie scents. Well, really, I yeah, I don't do foodie scents unless they're fruity. But I won't do like bakery. Don't do bakery scents in the bedroom because I find that to be a little weird. So this is a little bit different. I wanted to include this. This is a Scentsy Fresh. So this is essentially like a Febreze product, more of like a higher end luxurious Febreze. And they just come out in so many more scents. That's why I enjoy these. I like keeping these in my car or around the house. Um, this is sea salt and avocado. I actually bought this for my uh, car. Ended up migrating into the house and ended up using this in the bedroom. Sea salt and avocado is one of my 
top scentsy scents but my favorite one is aloe water and cucumber i literally have aloe water and cucumber coming today in multi-purpose cleaner if you guys are interested in any scentsy products i will post the link below because i am a scentsy consultant I know, Scentsy Consultant, but yeah, I'm showing you guys all kinds of different wax. And that's because, you know what, I like being diversified and that kind of stuff. I don't like to be, I mean, it's not bad to be dedicated to one brand. I'm not slamming or shaming anybody dedicated to one brand. I like to try it all when it comes to wax. So here is another candle, and this one is a Aldi Huntington Home in Holiday Cranberry. I didn't even attempt to burn this one. I wanted to turn this into melt, so I popped it in the freezer, ended up popping the candle right out, and chopping it with a soap cutter. That's what I like to do with a lot of these three wick candles. This one does have the decorative snowflake lid, super pretty. This worked out really well for tarts. I ended up doing this quite a bit in the bedroom. That's what I mean. I don't do bakery in the bedroom, but I will do scents like cranberry and so forth. So this was a bedroom scent for a hot minute because I wanted to use it up. Another bedroom scent is the Sensationals Sea Foam. This was a beautiful fresh scent. This is the packaging that they do for Myers. I haven't personally seen this one in Walmart. I would definitely repurchase this again. I think I actually have a few of it because they ran them on sale for like 69 cents, I think, 75 cents. So I bought a whole hoard of these. And this one smells amazing. Like I said, really, really nice fresh scent. Definitely has that spot-like smell to it. Um, it smells almost like those Hawaiian flowers that are like on lays mixed with like sea salt and ocean water. Very nice scent. So another Swan Creek candle tub. I was really happy to finish up a couple of these. So this one is in the Mocha Marshmallow Swirl. Personally, I was not a fan of this. I would not repurchase it. It came off almost like a coffee scent, which I was surprised because like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, some coffees are mocha flavored. Like you can go to Starbucks and get a mocha frappuccino and that kind of stuff. And that's kind of what it lent itself towards. I didn't really get like a marshmallow smell to it. Just not what I expected from this scent. But nonetheless, I used it up and I'm happy that it's gone. Another candle. This is a Bath and Body Works candle. I thought about keeping the jar and maybe repurposing it. But I don't need to hoard stuff. This was in Mahogany Teakwood. This was a single wick. I bought this years ago. This has been sitting in my stockpile. Popped this in the freezer, popped it out, used the soap cutter, and this was a bedroom scent this month. Mahogany Teakwood is like hot, sexy man scent. When it first came out, I stocked up on it. I bought so much of it because I was so obsessed with the scent. Now I'm at the point where it's a little too potent and a little bit too pungent for my lifestyle or for my likings, I guess I should say. Um, I like a little more subdued when it comes to the manly scents. So here is another sensational wax melt. This one is in passion fruit and guava. I did this one in the bedroom. This one too is the Myers packaging. And oh, this is such a beautiful, fruity, almost like fruit punch smell. Oh, I love this one. This is a great spring and summer scent. Chances are you guys will be seeing me melt a lot of this because like I said, I stocked up big time during that sell sale. I bought a lot of melts. So I also have a wallflower bulb that I used. It is technically not gone, but I wanted to throw the tag in my basket so I didn't forget to show you guys. This is what I have in my bathroom. I only use wallflowers in my bathroom now because I just find they're not potent enough to set up my living room or dining room. And I like to use my wax warmers in those rooms. So wallflowers work really good in a bathroom. If I had like an actual laundry room, like my washer and dryers in the basement, but if I had an actual laundry room, I would consider putting wallflowers in there. Really good for small spaces. So this one was in Honeysuckle. 
and this has been scenting up my bathroom so so nicely my husband likes to joke around with me he's like yeah but when i get in the bathroom i can overpower the wallflower scent it's like oh god really so he likes to pick on me a little bit so here is another sensational wax melt once again this is in the myers packaging this is apple blossom and this is a beautiful beautiful scent absolutely gorgeous i love this scent it definitely reminds me of something but i cannot put my finger on what it reminds me of i want to say that it almost reminds me of a bath product that i've had from basin i love this i will buy more of it my meyer still sells this like i said i a lot of these i haven't seen at walmart maybe they're meyer exclusive i don't know so two more candles to show you guys. This one is North Pole Bakery from Goose Creek. I wanted to try to use up a lot of my winter Christmas scents from Goose Creek. So the label really pretty on it. This was one that I ended up burning in my dining room. Lots of oils as you guys can see. I've had some Goose Creek candles like I said that have been hit or miss. But with these Christmas ones not one of them was a dud like they stepped it up maybe they're listening to people i didn't have any bad luck with christmas ones so north pole bakery definitely smells very heavy on like the vanilla extract almost like vanilla sugar cookie dough now do i think it smelled like that when it was burning no because i mean i wasn't overly in love with this one burning i probably wouldn't repurchase this one next year if it came back out the one i would repurchase and i did actually buy two of it and have one set back in my stockpile is this one this is the last candle and product i have to share with you guys this is christmas wish from goose creek this was beautiful like even the color you guys see it was an oily 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 candle very nice thrower and this was just like almost it lent itself more on the masculine side it smelled a little cologne -y, but there's like a fruit mixture in there with it definitely very very unique so I hope you guys enjoyed my candle empties for the month of February 2020. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.